Blaze Pizza, love that place. Just got back from there. Man, usually I just get a basic like pepperoni and mushrooms, but man, this they have a specialty pizza that as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to go get one. You're gonna wanna see this one. What is up everybody? I'm Sean with Food Supremacy and like I said, man, I'm hyped for this one. Today I went to Blaze Pizza. I don't know how familiar you are with Blaze Pizza. It's kind of like uh, the Chipotle of pizza. Like you go in, take they take your order, you, you go down the line, you pick all your toppings like you do at Chipotle or Subway or any of those places and uh, they got so many options. And then you, uh, you go pay and then they throw it in one of the fire ovens, man where they're like a thousand degrees and it cooks the pizza in like five minutes or less. It's crazy. It's so good. Coal fired oven, wood fired oven. I don't want it. Something fired oven. Good, man. Good. Really good pizza. LeBron James, part owner of Blaze Pizza. How, how small of a part? We don't know. They were really running with that for a while. They were doing uh, like LeBron James owns, you know, Premier League soccer team. Well, he owned like 0.1%. Hey man, more than I'll ever own, but I think they put some uh, stipulations on that. Either way, who cares? So today I got at Blaze Pizza, I got the Chipotle Chicken Ranch Pizza. Jalapenos, black olives, corn, roasted red pepper, uh, red onion, chicken, Chipotle Ranch, and a new thing that I had not heard of until today, Taj Tajin? 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 Um, yeah, it's a Latin hot sauce. I know nothing about, not even sure if I'm saying it right, but that was, uh, they, they got that, they got their own Tajin sauce branded and uh, they're pumping it. So bringing this thing home, you know, what do you do when you get home? You have, I have to drive all the way across town. It's, it's like 20 minutes away. They got a murderer's row of chain restaurants over there. It's, uh, obviously they have Blaze, they have Jersey Mike's, they have P.F. Chang's, they have Chick-fil-A, uh, Wendy's, you know, you can get lost over there. Then you want to go a little bit, like you want to sit down and eat. They got the Japanese, they got B-dubs, you know, a lot of options over there. Ariza. Ariza. Not sure how to say that one either. My part of town, a little bit more genuine. I mean, we have a few chains over here. We have Outback. We have, uh, you know, the, some fast food chains, but we have some other stuff over here. But yeah, so I'm excited about this. I added mushrooms. This doesn't come with mushrooms. Also, I got the keto crust, the cauliflower crust. Um, trying to drop a few pounds. If you've had keto crust, not as good as regular crust. You know, you can you can church it up, you can lie if you want and say that it is. It's just not. That said, willing to make some sacrifices once in a while. When you make videos about food a couple times a week, you gotta cut some corners. I've had the regular crust, it is better, but this is still pizza. It's it's not, you know, no it isn't, but some of you will say, no it isn't, it's stupid. Well, I get you, but to me, it's still good. So I'm excited, man, let's get into this. There's a lot going on there. It's almost like there might be too much going on there. Crunchy crust. But yeah, drive across town to get this, bring it back. Need to heat it up. Air fryer, man. I think I use an air fryer to reheat stuff as much as I use it to actually cook stuff. You got some old french fries from McDonald's, man, that air fryer gives it new life. Blaze is another one of those places where it's good to use the app to order because you just walk in and grab it. Your, your pizza's sitting there on the counter and just walk past all the people waiting in line, look at them, give them a, shoot them a, a glance like, what are you, stupid? Grab your box, get the hell out of there. Good times. Decent. And no, it's not just decent because of the crust. I will honestly just prefer regular pizza sauce. Uh, I, I have a neighborhood pizza place that has a chicken ranch pizza that's really good though. This one's so-so. I wish I would've got my old standby. Pepperoni and sausage, pepperoni and mushrooms, something like that. Supreme, this is this is okay. Obviously I'm gonna eat it. There's maybe a little too much going on on it. And uh, you know, next time I'll be back to the old marinara, uh, standard pizza. They have a spicy marinara. It's a cool place. If you not, if you ever see a blaze, I don't know if they're everywhere in the country. Um, they're in good old West by God, Virginia. We have one. It's a good option. I mean, it's just good. Like you think of all these fast casual options, Chipotle, you know, this is just another one of those. Another one of those things you can quick grab, eat a little bit more than fast food, but you know, a little better quality. What do you think about it? Have you had this? Do you like blazed pizza? What do you have another? Is there another type of pizza? Like I, I can't, I'm not familiar with any of the others. Either way, just wanted to let you guys know. Just wanted to do a quick review on this pizza. I found it very interesting. Turns out it came a little bit short of the mark. But either way, I'm Sean with Food Supremacy and thanks for checking out my video.